Meeting in the ladies room is where I have uh, women uh, from everywhere. They email me and so we pick a topic mm -hmm. uh, and we have our sisters to meet us in the ladies room. Um, I'm going to see the call screen in a minute to see if anybody's calling in. Um, but we advise, we ask for people to call in, um, let us know. But our meeting in the ladies room, here's the question guys. Here's what's going on in the situation. She says, um, look at me, I'm, I'm so lost. She says, I am married, and my husband cheated, and now she's pregnant. What do I do? I am married, my husband is, uh, and now she's pregnant, and so what do I do? Oh, wow. Um, all right, so we're about to let y'all roll. We want you guys to call in, uh, get with it. We want you to call in to 770 Four one five two one four nine. If you have any comments, you can leave the comments under our um, under the post under under our post on Instagram. I'm looking at them now. Uh, we got people tagging people, and we want you to we want you to talk to us though. This lady needs some answers. But we, since you guys aren't calling in right now, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just tell her from my point of view until we get some more points of view in. First of all. I want you guys to know that, uh, I want you to know, young lady, as from being married, I haven't been in your predicament. <laughs> I honestly don't know what I would do if it was another child on the way, but I have seen uh, marriages bounce back from this. I have seen, I have a, a great friend. She is a good friend, and she um, she has a, a stepchild that came in through through the marriage on you know on her watch and she's the best uh stepmother that that's out there and she's still with her husband i think things like this calls for a lot of prayer for one it calls this for you to take the route that benefits you and best suits you mm -hmm. i think this is a situation as to where only you and god and your husband uh, and it's going to take God to work through it. Sometimes, especially as women, it's bad enough when we know they cheat. But when we when they cheat and we got proof and it's a little person come behind, it's kind of hard to deal with. One thing I would say is if you do decide to stay, um, remember that you decided to stay. And that means that you did not take it out on the kid when the kid gets here. Uh, don't be that person. If you don't want to do it and you can't deal with it, then now is your time. Your, the gate is wide open. You know, you can mm -hmm. leave right now. Uh, it wouldn't be something that I would go back and forth with. It wouldn't be something that I would, um, you know, try to deal with. And then a couple of months later, you want to throw up that she's still pregnant. In mm -hmm. any situation, when you're talking about being married and you're talking about things that happen and you're talking about forgiving, uh, that's what you really have to do. You have True. to put your whole soul into forgiving. Even if you don't stay with them, you got to forgive and you got to move past it. Um, it. It does hurt. I, I do understand that just cheating in general um, hurts. But when you say, my husband cheated and now this, this woman is pregnant and, and we got to deal with this, how do we deal with it? Like I said, it's something, number one, is going to be solely based on you and your husband and God. This is not something that I would involve everybody in and get the opinions mm -hmm. from everyone around me because what I've learned for a fact that. is that everybody that said they wouldn't, they would. Baby, 50% of them would. They would. They would. 75. Say, so you say 75? 75. 75. We're going to go with 75 because mm -hmm. I've seen a lot of people that would encourage leaving. It just depends on what you have. I have a caller, and we're going to get this caller, uh, see what this caller has to say. Hello? Hello, hello? Hello? You're on the air. Maybe not. We can't hear you. Ah, uh, oh, they hung she up. Calls. Call back. Wow. I want that off in the person to call back. Call and me it's back. so easy for everybody to say, oh, leave them because they're not in the situation and the predicament. Um, just make sure that, like Visha said, just make sure that you know you're staying in it for your reason, not for anybody else's reason. And if you decided to leave, don't um, not leave just because you scared to leave. So you have to make sure that you, I, just, I say meditate, pray, get in the corner and ask God to give you answers. Because in this situation, it's hard. 
And I'd rather for you to be happy by yourself than to be happy and with the person. So you have a lot to think about as um, far as that. And I'll keep you in prayer myself. Uh, yeah, like you said, I'd rather for you to be happy uh, in your same right state of mind. This is something that is not going to go away. Mm -hmm. Because now, okay, first you're going to go through the stage of you got to forgive them for cheating. You're mm -hmm. going to forgive them for cheating. Then you gotta gotta have a whole new uh, sea of emotion that's gonna kick in when the baby is actually born, and you mm -hmm. guys have to deal with this. So we don't know what the other person is like, what the mother uh, that's carrying the child is like. We don't know if she's a um, if she's a woman one hundred percent, or if she's a baby mama. And you know, it's a difference two to different me. Things. It's two different things when you're talking about being a baby mama and being a woman. Uh, women take the high road, baby mama sometimes. They go low. So we don't know. You know, I I will continue to pray for you. I really want my caller to call back in. Um, I will continue to pray for you that God directs and guides you to do whatever finds makes peace in your heart. Mm -hmm. um, but you're not going to get to that state of peace. And I'm going to tell you from a fact, you're not going to get to that state of peace until you really honestly forgive and, and find that peace. Holding the grudge. Being mean and being bitter is only going to cause you to make uh, impulsive decisions based on your emotions. And so what you want to do is remove yourself from all of that. Mm -hmm. You may have to remove yourself from uh, from him for a while, not even go through with the full divorce right now, but probably have to separate and just get your peace of mind back. True. Um, stay out the girlfriend club. Stay out the, uh, stay out the gossip meal. True. Stay off the cell phone. Stay out of the uh, off the social media yep. for and a really minute. And really embrace every emotion you feel. Not go out there and whoop her behind because you might want to whoop up on her and him too. But really embrace the happy times, the sad times. You have to embrace every emotion in order to properly heal. And if you can't forgive him right now, it's okay to say that. Just yeah. make sure you be true and real to yourself and your own feelings in order to be a better person to you. And I'm just an advocate of uh, I'm just an advocate of families. I'm an advocate of marriage. I uh, a lot of times I think that the, some doors open and we are, and we allow the devil to come in some ways. It doesn't necessarily mean it's over. I I really. I really like history. I like for you to go back and look at your history uh, with this man. You don't just give him away like that. You know what I'm saying? You got to go back and dig deep and find out what role. Yeah. I always ch do a self-check, too. True. And I, it, I don't give a person permission to cheat on no one, but I do encourage self-checks to find out what happened along this way that I may have um, missed something or how did I play a part in what took place. So uh, Carla didn't, wasn't able to get back in to us. Uh, I'm looking. I see people. They made comments, but uh, they've only, they've, they're have only they only commenting that they're going to call in or that they are tagging people to give their opinions, I guess. So no one is actually... Uh, call back in or has actually said anything so we'll keep you lifted in our prayer our meeting in the ladies room um, that's a tough one mm -hmm. that's a tough one that is something that the opinions of others really are not going to matter yep. it's your mm -hmm. history that you have with your husband that's going to take president in all of this and your strength and willingness, willingness uh, to forgive yes. so like we said we're going to keep you in our prayer when we come back we're going to let Franchelle give you all the information of how you can contact her, stay in touch with her, go over to Glam. She gets your inspiration, your hair done, your makeup, and a lot of Jesus, she said. She said, first she said a little bit of Jesus. She said she's going to give you a lot of Jesus. Lot of so Jesus. when we come back, we'll <laughs> let her wrap it up and tell us how we can contact her. And then we'll um, tell you guys about our next guest for next week. Okay. Okay. That suck. I wanted to hear what they was going to say. Me too. Mm -hmm. Like y'all said. Yeah. 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 They will yeah. come here yeah. below. Like they still in there. They, they doing the most. They're so talking about everything. But her the comments. Everything. How we can contact her. And then we'll tell you guys about our next part. The next one. The one girl said, I hear you. You should have been there.
Thank you guys for tuning in to Women 101, Empowering Women One Word at a Time. Before I leave, it's my encouragement for the week. I want you guys to, to use this this week. Be encouraged. I want you guys to say, I am woman and I accept that. I want you guys to accept everything about you that makes you a woman, that makes you who you are, your shape, your physique, your mood, your, your intuition, your heart, your vulnerability. I am woman and I accept that. That. That is what we're taking into this week. We are proud to be women, honey. Nobody does it like us. Give us who you are, how to contact you, Franchelle, before we wrap it up, and how to um, get in contact with you and Glam She. All right. I have a couple of ways that you can get in contact with me. I am on YouTube, Glam She Beauty. Don't forget to hit me up and subscribe. Leave a comment be below. Let me know exactly what you guys think, what you're looking for from the channel. I am also on Instagram. Glam She Beauty, that's where you'll come and see my work and, you know, beauty tips and hairstyles as well. I'm also on Facebook, Glam She Beauty, and you can also catch me on Snapchat at Flawless by Free, and I'll be looking for you guys to contact me. And I also sell hair. Bundle deals are here. My website is GlamSheBeauty.com. You can also go up there and, and see certain pictures that I have posted already of my products. Also, I want to give a shout out to Divine Beauty. Um, that is my lash extension lady. She is located. Give me one second. She is located um, at Evolution Hair Studio, 900 Thornton Road, Lithia Springs. 
Um, also, you can contact her at 747-221-MINK. And thank you guys so much for tuning in and supporting me. And I look forward to speaking to every one of you guys. God bless. Thank you. Thank you, guys. 108 Praise Radio, Women 101. Thank you for tuning in today. You're good. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Okay. <laughs> All the pictures are already up. Really? Mm -hmm. Oh, wait. That's on Facebook.